Hey guys, it's been a long time since I uploaded my design on Drupal. I just planned to update it today. I thought I'll show you guys how I actually do it so that it will be helpful for you guys as well. The first thing that you need to post in Drupal is obviously UI screens so that you can design a Drupal shot for those screens. Um, I already have UI design with three screens. Uh, I already made a video about how I made this. If you are interested, then click the link in the cards or description below. First, I'm looking for design inspiration on Dribbble just to see how others are displaying their designs. This will give me an idea about what's working and what's not working on Dribbble. And also you can improvise and add your personal touch to it to stand out. I saw a few design layouts with three UI screens and saved them for my reference. While seeing that, I had an idea and I sketched out in my notebook. So this is what I'm going to do for my triple shot. Let's bring the sketch and other references that we took from Dribble inside Figma. When you go to the frames, Figma already has Dribble short frames. I always use Dribble HD and now I'm going to start designing. Oh yeah, it's done. So now I'm going to export the design. Once your design is complete, export it as PNG or JPEG file. Before you can upload your design, you will need to create an account on Dribble. You can sign up for free or paid account depending on your needs. Log in to your Dribble account and click on the upload button located in the top right corner of the screen and select the image that you want to upload. Just fill out the title, tags, description and other relevant information. Add appropriate tags and detailed description of your shot to make it more discoverable by other designers and potential clients. Now we have successfully uploaded our shot. Once I upload the shot, I will also share the shot on social media platforms and encourage other followers to uh, check the post and give the feedback. Not only in Dribble, but generally if you want to be seen, then you have to engage with the Dribble community by commenting on other designers work and giving feedback this will help you to build following and gain exposure for your designs 
the key takeaway from this video is dribble is a visual game you really have to keep your shot visually appealing and showcase your skills as a designer with these steps you should now be able to design a dribble shot in figma and upload it to dribble i hope this video is helpful if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and i will see you in the next one bye bye